man, I gotta choose Clear eyes, full heart, I can't lose Clear eyes Thank you everyone for coming to today's practice. Uh, today is February 27th. Happy Pokemon Day for those of you who are celebrating it. Um, and so today for practice, we'll be starting off with some dynamic stretches, uh, you know, to get us nice mobile. Um, and then we'll be doing, following that, we'll be doing uh, some, we'll be doing some, uh, Technique, we'll be focusing a lot more on footwork, uh, moving around in our footwork. If you can see the, the theme with doing the dynamic stretches, we want to focus on footwork today, uh, as well as doing some uh, revisiting our jabs, crosses, and hooks. And then following that, we'll be doing some uh, conditioning exercises. And then closing out, we'll still have our bonus workout for those of you who are available for that. And so uh, with that, I think we'll just jump into it. And we'll get started with dynamic stretches led off by Christian. This is dynamic stretches. The whole gist of this is literally just to get your body moving and get some stretching in while you're doing it. That way, um, as you're moving later, you're probably moving the same parts and getting that warmed up. So like always, I'm gonna have you shake out just a little bit real quick. Just loosen your arms, loosen your legs. And then we're gonna jump into some quick jumping jacks just to get your body and uh, warm and your blood up pumping and then we'll get more into stretches. So we're going to start and I'm just going to have you do 10. So we're just going to go one, two, three. So I'm not doing any weird counts, just every one counts, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, first thing. Um, these, it's hard to get any like dynamic movement, but we're just going to do Pull on your hand, so take your hand out, pull up your fingers gently, please don't hurt yourself, and pull back, and it should release in your forearm. So we're just going to do a count of 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you're going to take it, you're going to turn it under, and then you're going to do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all right, so chance. And this is up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Getting into some more of the more dynamic stuff. We're gonna do. It's called Heisman, just side hop to balance. And all you're gonna do is you be on one leg, and have the other leg go up, so like the Heisman Trophy. And you're just gonna go hop and you're switch sides. So it's just like this trophy, or if you don't know the football, just jump to the side and keep on the outside leg. All right, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do it on my count. So it's gonna be side up to balance. Three, two, one is gonna be one, two, three, and that's one. All right, and so we're only gonna do um, five. So it's five, but it's on every on the fourth count. So it's one, two, three, and then you come back. That's one. All right, ready? So we're gonna say side hop to balance. Begin, and it's one, two, three, and that's one. One, two, three, and that's two. One, two, three, and that's three. One, two, three, and that's four. One, two, three, and that's five. All right, and then we're gonna go into a runner's lunge. You're gonna come down. So it's like you're taking a lunge, exactly the same thing. You're gonna come down. The goal is to have this front leg 90, this back leg doesn't need to be. I want you to stretch, and if you take your hands, and you put your hands straight up, and you just gently push forward, because you're gonna stretch that hip flexor right here. So that's the goal, all right. So 10 count on each leg. Lean into it and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now the dynamic part is you're gonna lean back on that same leg. You're gonna go from running to leaning back. You're gonna put your hands gently at, as much as you can down at your side. You know, if you can, you know, full on hug your leg or whatever. That's fine. I only go about here. 
but you're gonna pull, you're gonna lean back on it, and it's just gonna pull the muscles on the back side. We're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch legs. Or this lunge again, opposite leg. Let's see if I get a better angle for you. There you go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then lean back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm gonna have you do once again shoulders standing. And then we'll move into like the last real dynamic portion of this. So I'm going to have you do your shoulders. So same thing. Um, well, this one's tricep stretch. But I'm going to grab your elbow, the right arm. Just put it up behind your back and then grab your elbow and gently tug on it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna finish with five inchworm push-ups. And you're asking how that helps at all. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stay stay from your standing position. You're gonna reach to your toes. You're gonna stretch that leg, and then as, as I count out, we're gonna crawl out to a push-up. And go down, come up, and you're gonna crawl back. One of the key points is take this slow, and I'll give a count that will be slow enough. And then when you're really important is when you're close to your legs. That's where you're getting the stretch in the back of your calves and everything. So on my count, so it's going to be, uh, you don't have to do this one with me, but it's going to be, and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten, and that's one. So we're gonna do them nice and slow because I really want you to get that stretch. It also keeps the movement, and that's where your dynamic area comes in. All right, ready? Let's begin. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's one, and down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine, ten. All right, we got one more. I'm gonna have you go down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Whew. All right, and like I said, just shake it out a little bit. So there's not a lot to dynamics. Usually it's just a little bit of movement, but that little bit of movement a gets your blood pumping, and b like I said, your body's like, oh, cool, we're moving. You know, and probably hopefully keep you from being like jumping into it. All right, I'm gonna hand it off to Moises for your technique for today. Uh, thank you for having that little nice little break PSA. Um, mm -hmm. So today for technique, as I said uh, in the beginning, we'll be doing footwork, a lot more emphasis on footwork. Um, and then followed that, you know, base recap of one, two, threes, running some combos, running around, doing our, um, moving around within our uh, space as much as you can. Make sure that, if possible, you at least have arms distance of space with, with whatever wall that you're currently facing. Because, you know, if you take a step, I don't want you to accidentally be like, you know, like me who has a little pole here. Uh, so I obviously have to do my steps over here. Um, so be, be space conscious while we're doing anything revolving footwork. If you're not able to do anything with footwork, just lift your lift uh, whatever corresponding um, leg that is needed for that given movement. Um, but with that, I think we'll just get started. So everyone get in your stance. Um, and so we, what we're gonna do today is review footwork. 
Uh, and so um, for those of you who are new to this, uh, we'll have Christian as the leg cam because he has a good space for legs. Um, so if you are right-handed, follow up. And if you're left-handed, follow me. Yes, yeah, so this so, is right. That's left. Yes. And so your leading leg, once again, is your the opposite of your dominant hand. And then your back leg is the the side of your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, your right hand is your if you're right-handed, your right leg is your back leg. Uh, if you're left-handed, your left leg is your back leg, and vice versa. Okay. So with that, once you get in your stance, we're gonna go over moving. Uh, let's uh, front and back first. So when we're moving uh, forward and we're moving back, with all these positions, we want to make sure that we're keeping our stance right. And so, if I say uh, step forward. What will happen is, as Christian is demonstrating, you'll actually be stepping with your front leg first, followed by your back leg. But notice how he's not breaking stance either. And so when I say step forward, you see he maintains the stance. And then when I say step back, it's with that back leg. And so when we're calling out our combos and we're calling out our stance, we want to make sure when, you're, when, I, when I call out uh, step forward, and then everyone steps forward, everyone still maintains their stance. And uh, at the moment, we, we can't always look at you because we're this distance away from our screen. Um, and also you may be following along at home. So if you have questions, you can feel free to message us on making sure if you're maintaining stance or not. But following that, um, following step forward and step back, the next step naturally is how do you move from side to side, right? And so if we get into this forward camera position, we maintain our stance. When, if I were to say step to the right, you step with whichever legs in, in the right, on the right, um, first, followed by whatever leg is opposite, right? So uh, for lefties, it happens to be your front leg that goes to the right because it's your right leg. Well, if you're righty, it happens to be your back leg. And so if I say step to the left, we step to the left, then your back leg is the one, or the back leg for lefties is the one. Well, for righties, it's your front leg. So the main key with uh, footwork, although it's kind of confusing having these two split screens, is maintaining your stance at the appropriate distance you have it whenever we start. So this, this key stance, when I say gain your stance, this is the amount of space that your legs are taking up should be around the same comfortable distance that you have whenever you're moving in whatever direction you are. I would say if you're going to have any added things for simplicity's sake, I would say if you're ever like, oh man, it's hard for me to remember which leg, just whatever legs in that direction. So you have your right legs further back, so you're stepping back or your back leg, you know, you have a back leg and a front leg. So whatever the legs in the back and the front, that's what you're moving first. And then you have a leg that's going out to your right more, so you're going to step right with it, and out to your left more, and you're going to step left with it. And it's the same way for both. You know, whatever leg's in that direction, that moves first, and then the other one. And then don't worry too much about, like, breaking stance when you first step. It's when you second come back to it that you need that stance. Because you could do, like, try not to do this, because <laughs> you want something, like Moises said, reasonable. So that way your stance isn't too off, because the biggest thing here is, if you're getting hit mid-step, you should have the balance you need or you're not falling over. If you're too far, you're going to be knocked off balance. I actually did almost fill there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I think what we'll do now is we'll just do, I'm going to do some calling out. So when I call it out, um, you guys will follow along. We'll just be doing just solid, just straight footwork. Um, and then after we'll do a quick recap of our one, twos, and threes, and then we'll combine it all together. Um, and so with the footwork, I want to make sure everyone keeps their stance. And as a reminder for those of you who hadn't watched our previous video, um, when we keep our stance, we, we maintain our legs at an appropriate distance as Christian's showing above, but our upper body is still a part of our stance. And so we want to keep our elbows tucked in and our eyes at about, um, our, our hands at about eye level. And this is what our stance looks like. And typically when you have your gloves, it um, allows the appropriate amount of uh, coverage and shield and defense. 
when, when you keep your initial stance. And so when we all add it all together, um, I'm gonna start calling it out and then we'll see how it goes from there, right? So everyone good, everyone ready? Thumbs up, okay, get some thumbs up. And we're ready, okay. Yeah, just Christian over here, thumbs up. All right, so get your stances and step to the right, step forward, step back. Step to the left, step back, step forward, step forward again, step to the right, step back, step forward, step back, step back again, step forward twice, and then step to the left, step to the right, Step back, step forward, step to the right. I, I caught myself slipping right there. <laughs> um, and then we'll do step forward, step to the left, step to the left, step to the right, step to the right. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> One hop this time. Hey. All right. Switch dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think, I think that's a good, uh, that's a good basic rundown of footwork. Um, and so now let's do a quick recap on our uh, technique uh, with our um, punches, uh, as we refer to them here: our one, two, and three, which are our jab, our cross, and our hook. As Christian is displaying, as I, if I were to call one, two, three. Christian would do that exact motion. Um, and so, as a reminder, when you are doing our your jab, once again, make sure you're, you're still staying within stance, right? And when you are doing a jab, we want to make sure that you're stepping. As you, and as you step, you are extending uh, your arms at straight eye level while maintaining a, is it supinated? Pronated? What's the name of the grip? Your hands, uh, when you're shifting your hand, your hand is basically, you're shifting your hand from here to there. And the, uh, yeah, rotating and you're rotating it out. Because if you were to punch on the side, I believe there's a, there's something muscle-wise that gets tweaked when you hurt. punch like that. <laughs> yeah. So keeping, keeping that, your grip like that when you are punching, uh, at least for your straight punches, uh, is good practice. I don't think anyone's done them. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, oh, as let's get back, back in the stance. Thing. Yeah. I think it's a wrist thing more than anything. Uh, so we get back in our stance, and when you call out a jab, you step out, your hands are at eye level, and then you, you, bring it, you bring your hand and foot back in, and you maintain your stance. Right? Mm -hmm. So I call it a jab. And if I call out jab again, that's how it starts looking. So it's sort of this bouncing type of movement that you'll sort of feel as you um, sort of get the hang of punching, that your, your leg stepping out, you're maintaining your elbows tucked in, your whole stance, and you're, you're extending, right? And so naturally with that, your hands are starting to get tired of Christian's hands are probably getting tired of using his jab, so I'm gonna show, let's show him the cross now. So with the cross, uh, rather than stepping back, I mean, stepping forward, what we're doing is we're actually having a pivot with our back leg, which is a different type of movement relative to anything from our footwork, right? So a pivot, uh, if you can look at Christian's legs, because his is a lot easier to see with the contrast versus mine. Uh, yeah. There is a shift uh, with your, with the balls of your feet moving to this sort of parallel movement through his whole body. So if I, if I say uh, cross, so Christian will get in a stance, he'll throw that punch. And as you see in this nice little still frame he's doing, his whole body is relatively uh, straight from here while his leg has generated a lot of momentum and power to allow that cross to really get some nice uh, oomph and punch 
that sort of compensates rather than stepping like we would with the with the jab, right? And so just to run it through a few times, if I say two, we would do that. And if we say, if I say cross, it st will still be the same. And so a way you would see this is if we call out jab cross, we sort of bring it all together, you know? And so with that, the next step obviously is after we do our one, our two, uh, if you remember your numbers, n the next number is three. <laughs> and so with that, it's that nice little Captain America shield as we refer to it called the hook. Uh, so how that looks uh, in person or um, on camera is when you're in your stance it is, so your non-dominant hand is the one that we usually refer to when we're doing our hook. And, but in, in practice, we'll start uh, referring to, um, what, what do we refer to as alt hook, I think? Other hook? Yeah. Um, typically righties are the ones that call it. So when they say left hook, the righties do it. But now that I'm president, I think I'm gonna just call it alt hook. Um, you know, be inclusive for our lefties in the room. Shout out to Roger. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what's up. But um, so when we're doing our stance, when we refer to our three, uh, the standard template one is the one of your non-dominant hand. And so when we call out our three, there's that pivot motion that we refer to, but um, with the cross, but it's actually happening in your front leg. So with that, with that shift, with that pivot, you're getting a nice little punch that's actually, uh, as your hand sort of goes in this 90 degree angle, if we do anything else, that's not a hook. If you, that's some hood fighting things, which we don't condone uh, here at the boxing club. What we, what we do when we're doing our hook is we maintain that 90 degree level when you're punching and your, um, the grip you maintain is actually, rather than being uh, that straight, that, that uh, twisted wrist funk, um, we're having this flat side of your hand being outward. As uh, we refer to it here as a Captain America shield. So if you look at it from a straight angle, my hand is straight all the way to my, my arm is straight all the way to my hand. And you see, you can imagine this Captain America shield forming. So if I call out three, you sort of see that motion and then you immediately, like all of our punches, every time you do a punch, you wanna make sure you come back and you, you, know, you block yourself and you defend yourself, get back into your stance. And so, if I call out three, you'll sort of see that and I say, uh, in, uh, I think for this practice, we won't do it, but if you see me in the future refer to it as alt three or alternative three, it'll be that opposite hand. And with that opposite hand, your actual twist will come from your back foot. So you'll see whichever arm you'll be using for your hook will be, will be the leg that you will also be twisting. So if I say uh, three, alt three, three, three right three three yeah so there there are various ways we'll call it we'll call hook other hook um body hook head hook um captain hook um various types of hooks um one of those is a lie figure out which one <laughs> one of them is the imposter a little among us music um all right, so with that, I, we're gonna piece it all together. Um, and I think with that, um, Christian, you wanna call out the, the full uh, cumulative punches footwork all together? Sure. All right, thank you. All right, everyone get your stance. I'm gonna face this way. If you're right-handed, stick with me. If you're left-handed, stick with what Moises is doing. Um, but if we're just facing forward, Moises, do you want me to mind? Is that way, if they're like, oh, I'm going the wrong way, it's, it's just because you're different handed. Yeah. Um, all right, so get your stance, hands up, and let's go. So one, one, two, one, step forward, one, step back, one, one, two, one, two, three, 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 step right, one, 
to forward one, to back one, left two. There you go, good job. And the reason I, you'll see me you tell a lot of these with one is that's your measurement. That's how you're telling how far someone is. Is with it, your leg extended and your arm extended, that's the full reach. You can't get in much further than that. And so it's a good like, oh, I'm backing up. I need to give myself some space. Or, oh, I'm reaching, I'm stepping in. How close am I to get in my opponent? So that's often gonna be what I'm calling when I'm stepping forward and back because it's pretty practical in that aspect. But let's continue, ready? One, two. One, two. Step back one. Step forward one. Two. Two, two, three, three, cross. Aha, oh. <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> All right, step forward. Down, boys. Step left, step back, step back one, three, one, three. Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, let's keep it going. Step forward one, left three. Right two, one two, one two, one two three, 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 one three. Step back one, forward one two three. Good, 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 good. How's everyone feeling? Any question? Excellent. All right, Moses, do you want to go over anything more or do we want to move into the next segment? Um, just as a quick recap, as we progress, you know, make sure um, to, you know, um, practice these whenever you can. For those of you watching or here, um, make sure to practice these whenever you can. Like, you know, this is, we are teaching you something, you know, can practice within your own home. Shadow boxing in itself is a very, um, great way of conditioning uh, on a day to day. Um, I, I know all the Joe Rogan fans uh, talk about shadow boxing because he mentions it once in a while. Um, and so with that, um, I'll pass it. Oh, well, first of all, we'll take a quick little one yeah. to two minute <laughs> break. Uh, and then from there, we'll um, move forward with our conditioning component. Okay, so starting today's conditioning workout. What are we doing? Well, we're doing conditioning, so it's going to be a mix of cardio this time. My lovely president was like, ah, oh, we should get moving. So I agree with him. <laughs> All right, and so today we're doing two sets. So it's not that long, four exercises each. Um, each are going to be 30 seconds, sort of like the intervals. I, I like our time intervals. It tends to help everyone give their best effort, because if you could do 100, it's great, and then you're tired. And if you go and do 10, great, you'll still be tired at the end. <laughs> All right, and with cardio, it helps too because it's just more, it's, it allows you to do more within like uh, the time instead of just counting them out. All right, so what we're doing today is, like I said, we're doing A skips, plyo jumps, uh, high planks, and um, catchers. Uh, for those of you who have done the lettuce workouts with me, you may recognize some of those. <laughs> um, but here we go. So I'm going to run through it once with all, each, all four of the workouts, and then we'll get into it. So to start, we're now what's called a skips. And so you're gonna take your feet and shoulders apart and that's always just a good place to start from usually when we're doing these unless I say otherwise. Um, and it's gonna be a backwards skip essentially. So you're gonna come up and you're gonna take that leg back a little bit and you're gonna come down. And so let me see if I can get it going. So it's gonna be up. It's the jerk. So you're just gonna jump know. back a little bit on that planted leg and then plant the other one. Is that does that make any sense now when you help with that? Because it's it's a bit confusing sometimes. But yeah, you're gonna skip back, plant, skip back, plant. It's just gonna be this. You wanna seconds. make sure when you when you're planting, you wanna make sure that there's like a little jump almost with that like explosiveness, right? In a way. Yeah, a, yeah. So like everything's a fluid motion. It's just hard to stop. So see how I am like already moving as I'm planting. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Plyo jumps, so I'm not doing lunges, we just did that last time. You got a good workout out of it, but I'm not quite bringing you guys there yet. Um, but all you're going to do is one leg back, one leg forward. And jump on it, so it's going to be jump, back, jump, back, jump, back. 
And we're gonna, do, you can break it up differently, but for this one, each set, so each 30 seconds is gonna be one leg. So start with the right and then finish with the left. Jump back. And as soon as you touch the ground, that leg should be coming back up. And that's how you get it. And try to jump on that front leg. So whatever leg in front, you know, be aware of your surroundings or anything. Jump, jump. If you need the modifier for this one, is that when you come up, you don't jump, you just step up. And you can slow it down a bit. Um, high planks or high planks? 30 seconds. Get in that good push up position. You know, feet behind you, hands on your shoulders. Try to keep a straight back. There should be a line going from your, your chest here to your feet. You're just gonna hold 30 seconds. And high plank, when I say high plank, that means like up in the push up position. The other kind of plank is what I would call low plank. We're just gonna stay in a high plank for right now. All right, and then the last one, catchers. It's a lot of fun, trust me. <laughs> I don't know if that was sounding scary or the fact that I laughed afterwards, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna take, like I said, feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna squat, and keep your hands out, because your hands, you can touch the ground, and your goal should be kick out, and then you're gonna kick back, and you're gonna sit. And that's a one. So that's a catcher. If you cannot do that, don't worry about it. Get your hands, put them down on the ground, step out, step out. You know, watch your spacing, because I just kicked my weight rack behind me. <laughs> and then you're gonna step back in, step back in, and squat. So we're gonna keep doing that for 30 seconds. Right, so seriously, have any questions currently? Everyone in the chat. Nope, going once, going twice. Gold flies better. No, uh, nothing. All right, cool. Cool. I'll get my stopwatch started. All right, so you get 30 seconds. Get any water or anything? All right, so for the first set, I'm gonna give you guys 30 second breaks in between. Second set, since it's a minute each, I'm just gonna crank them in, in a row. <laughs> so, cardio, yay. All right, right five, A skip start in three, two, one, let's kick it. So just keep up and keep going. And if you hear any music in the background, I'm probably playing sounds on. <laughs> Good thing to help whenever you're doing motions that involve like a running motion is move your arms. It helps with the workout, but it also keeps your balance. A little bit harder when you're just holding your hands back because then <laughs> you don't have as much balance. And I'm actually trying to stay and I'm losing a footing every once in a while. All right, time, time, time. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Catch your breath. There you have your 30 second break right now. I. Well, for personal reasons, I'm playing music. So if you guys don't hear the music in the edit, don't worry about it. It's all copyright stuff anyway. Well, we don't get paid for our videos anyway. Yeah, that's true. More of just copyright strikes. <laughs> Although I heard some of it sounds really cool. So if you do hear it, it's probably not gonna be that bad. All right, next set, five seconds. All right, hold on. Let me... <laughs> I can't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I remember the moment where you just forget the worst time. That would be right now for me. Um, anyone in the chat, want to tell me what we're doing? So you uh, pay attention. <laughs> was it, was it called plywood? Yeah, plywood jumps. There you go. That's, okay. Maybe I did remember and I just didn't tell you. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually forgot. Plywood. All right, so right leg back. Just start with the right leg back. And you want it to be as flat as you can. When you're jumping, you're going to not quite touch it all the way, maybe. But the goal is to touch it all the way down. All right, so we're starting three, two, one, let's go. We're just gonna keep going, keep going. And like I said, this definitely helps with balance when you're moving your arms on this one, especially. You'll find that with this one, lunge jumps, you know, any kind of like running motion, it really helps. But yeah, and then if you can, speed up. And if you need to, feel free to slow down. All on your pace, that's why I like these time intervals. All right, I'm gonna break. All right, 30 second break, 30 second break. And this time I'm just gonna tell you, we're going to the high place. All 
All right, you got 15 seconds. All right, let's work our way down to the ground, five seconds. And hold. We're just gonna have here and have a chat um, for three seconds, I guess. <laughs> Not having to do anything, we're just gonna hold the high planks. Um, key here is you engage your core. So, you know, like when you suck your gut in, it's sort of like that. You wanna keep your core a little tight. You know, don't overdo it, like giving yourself a cramp. <laughs> but yeah, just keep your core nice and tight. Keep your body position good. Try not to dip your hips down or up. I know you get tired of that, but right now the goal is just to hold 30 seconds. And like that, we're done. That's 30 seconds. See? I talk, it gets the time going. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the podcast. And welcome to the podcast. Yeah. All right, I'll give you guys a 30 second break. And then we're going into our last set, which should be the catchers. Like I said, these here, here. If you can, you can crank them out. But I would much rather just have you do your best and try not to hurt yourself. I'm going to tuck my shirt in actually. <laughs> so that might speed up on this one. All right, we have 10 seconds. Tucking shirt PSA? Yeah, I just do it because honestly, I don't like it flying up and down my back. All right, and let's hit it. Yeah, so if your feet go a little outside your shoulders too, don't worry about it like this. That's fine. All right, great. How's everyone feeling? <laughs> <laughs> I heard a sigh from the crowd. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you guys a minute to catch the breath. And then the challenge is going to be for the next one. We're doing two minutes straight work. If you need to modify, please modify. <laughs> but the goal is to finish all two minutes. We're just going to go back to back. You get your heart rate really pumping on that one. So I'll give you guys another minute sorry right now. Please, whenever you're with us, bring water, both in person and on Zoom. Just, you know, workouts can be tough at times. And hydration is important. Thank you. Also, in this moment, I'm gonna talk about when I'm saying like catch your breath. If you really need, um, it depends on people, but like the goal usually when I'm saying that is like for me especially is um deep breath in, uh, deep breath out, take that deep breath, hold it, and then breathe it out. You know, if you're hopping and popping, don't try that. <laughs> but and you start your heart rate starts to catch up, and so you you start to be able to calm down and get ready for the next set. Okay, you guys got about three seconds. <laughs> and then, all right. All right, everyone's back, set two. All right, so we're going to do A skips, plyo jumps, high plank, and then into the uh, catchers. And you're all four back to back. So as soon as I say next move, just we got to get going. All right? I'll leave you guys, just two minutes, two minutes. Come on, ready? We're gonna start with those A skips in three, two, one, let's go. I actually really like these, honestly. <laughs> they're just, they're good fun because it feels like when you're like doing some weird dance move or <laughs> jumping rope. All right, five seconds, we're gonna switch. All right, wild jump, left leg, go.
All right, in three seconds, bring it down to your high plank. All right, break and down to the plank, down to the plank. This will be your moment to catch your breath. And that's why I put it here. And then shorten your core, but from that, take a deep breath. All right, in five seconds, we're gonna go to catch All right, last thing, we all got 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, let's kick it. Thank you to Christian for leading this part of the workout. I want to take a break. You earned it. All right. Thank you, everyone, for attending today's practice. Um, we definitely had a dynamic uh, time today. And if you also had dynamic time, feel free to get a one-two on the like and uh, comment on the YouTubes whenever we post this video. And uh, we will be doing our bus workout, which will be in another clip. Uh, so look forward to that. And aside from that, have a nice rest of your day. Welcome back, everyone. This is the bonus workout. Last week we did core. And we're doing it again. Yay. <laughs> um, it's not going to be that bad, hopefully. <laughs> um, I believe in you guys, so I believe you can do this. That's why I'm challenging you here. We're going to do three exercises, two sets, 16. It's a weird number, but it's because we're going to do one and one on each side sometimes. Um, so for you guys, I want to tilt this down a little bit so you can see better. You guys are doing three of your exercises of core. I'm going to go over them real quick, and then we're going to get into it. All right? So if you were joining us last week, there might be some things you recognize. All right, to start, we're going to get in your set position. You're laid down, and we'll turn sideways so you can see. And you're crunched up a little bit so that your shoulders are off the ground. So I'm not touching, keeping them off. And this is called the side reach. You're going to reach for your pinky toe. If you can't do that, hit your heel, hit your ankle, whatever you can reach on the side of your foot. But your goal should be to reach that pinky toe as best as you can, or like the ball of your foot. And you're going to switch to the other side, and you're just going to swivel on your back. And so it's one, two, three, four, up to 16. And that's your first exercise. Your second exercise, you're going back to those rope climbs. And then, like I said last tight week, all that... All this is going to be working your obliques, the side of your abdomen. So it gives a lot of people their definition. And it's going to be a key component that a lot of people don't tend to look at. So we're going to work on that a lot. All right, so you're going to do rope climbs. If you're here last week, I think you recognize these. You're going to keep your feet up. Or if you need to modify, keep your knees bent. But your goal is to reach up, lift that shoulder off the ground, like touch the, the tongue of your shoe, the tip of your foot, whatever you can do, the shin, you know, and you're going to pull, like climbing a rope. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four, and then all the way to 16. I'm challenging you guys this week. I said, I'm challenging, I'm challenging. And that's the goal. All right, so that's one, two. And then for the last one, we worked on arm, uh, arms a little bit, but I'm gonna have you do something else as well. We're just gonna go into um, shoulder taps. So you're gonna get in that push-up position. I would spread your feet a little bit so you can get some, a little bit of balance. And you're just gonna take it and you're gonna tap your shoulders. Gotta turn this way so you can see better. See here, see how my feet are just a little spread out? So that way, you know, and I always say like, you know, try not to go too far outside of your shoulders, but you don't need to be right here because it's, it's hard to balance sometimes and see how I'm rocking. So spread your feet a little bit, get your high plank, and you're just gonna tap. And the goal is to not rock as much. So you can see me moving even, but your goal is to keep still. If you need to and you have to come up a lot, that's fine, but like I said, one, two, and we're going to 16. I know it's going to be tough, but I believe in you guys. All right. So we got everything going. We're going to do side reaches, rope climbs, and then shoulder taps. 
like I said, the key of the shoulder taps is keep still, work on your core by holding yourself there. You know, nice flat back as you would in a high plank. And then just tap, tap, tap. All right? 16 each, two. It's going to be tough. So I'll give you a break after the first set. Any questions before we go from the chat? Cool. All right. So I'm. Here's the thing, if you ever see me play music, it's more so I don't sound like an insane person in my own house. <laughs> Just, you know, screaming out. All right, we're going to get into that first workout. That side to side reach. And I'll face this way, that way you can see me sweeping sides. Like I said, try to keep your shoulders up, keep your chin tucked, and your shoulders off the mat, or the crown. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a mat near me. All right, ready? That's a 16 inch. You're just going to reach. So see me peek around and say, how do you guys? All right, ready? Shoulders up. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. There we go. Whew. <laughs> All right. Next thing, rope climb. We're doing anything nice and slow, so we're going to try to keep going between each. So feet up, our knees up, whatever you need. Even on the knees up, I'd like you to try to reach up. So do a reach for the sky. You know, shoot for the stars, hit the moon at least, right? <laughs> All right, so feet up, and we're doing 60 of these. So it's going to be three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, come on, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Well done. All right, last thing, shoulder taps. Probably actually the most difficult thing. <laughs> so, hands under your shoulders, nice high plank, keep your back straight. All right, catch your breath for a second. Three, two, one, all right, let's go. Up one, up two, up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like I said, you're gonna rock a bit. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nice. How's everyone feeling? <laughs> I'm done. Good. <laughs> uh, this is just never not dying. It's okay. I'll give you guys a break. Catch two break. Uh, get a little bit of water in you, and we're going to go into our final set. It, it doesn't take too long, but it will start to hurt the more we do. <laughs> oh. All right. I have everyone minimized. So, in chat, is everyone good? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Two yeses. Sweet. Okay. 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 All right. Side reaches. Let's get down. I'm gonna face this way this time. That way you can see the shoulders off the mat and everything. All right. Like I said, just 16. Let's get this going. All right. Shoulders off the mat. See how like there's that space in between? You can definitely see because that's laying down. Lift the shoulders off the mat. All right. So we're gonna go in three. Two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right. Let's keep it going. Rope climbs. Turn the other way, just fun. <laughs> All right, like I said, same thing. Your shoulder come off the mat. Lay down right now. When I reach up, your shoulder has to come off that mat. All right, even if you're here, please, shoulder off the mat. Reach your shoulder up. All right, and we're starting in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 
13, 14, 15, and 16. Good job. Everyone's doing okay? Yep. All right. We're moving into shoulder taps. Last thing. Come on. Let's keep going. Last thing, last thing, last thing. All right. Hands under your shoulders. Nice high plank. And I'm talking about straight back. As best you can. Keep your back straight. You have to dip your hips or keep your hips up. Straight. To be a straight line. All right. Ready? We begin in three, two, one, and shoulder tap. Shoulder tap. That's two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen, and fifteen, and sixteen. Woo! Good job. And I'll see you around next time.